Khalil Mack is on the move. The Bears and the Chargers are finalizing a deal that would send the star pass rusher here to Los Angeles. Justin Fields has no players around him. I mean, I don't want to dismiss any of those guys, but they don't have the type of players as a whole that they can compete at the larger level. about Justin look I know he's not really talking about this but this football team around him you tell me how they got better offensively to the point where he will then be able to just let his athletic ability shine this could be an ugly year for Chicago I, I just really think it could be Madden 23 is finally here I mean, well, it actually is with the, you know, 10 hour EA play trial thing. I think the full game releases tomorrow. If you pre-ordered the all Madden edition, if not, I think it's Friday that it fully comes out. And you know, it's kind of been a tradition for my channel the past few Madden seasons to make my first upload of the season be like the introduction to my franchise and my franchise team for this year, the Chicago Bears. They suck. I suck at this game. This is going to be amazing. Now, if you're looking for a more self-contained rebuild, you know, like those one hour long, like potentially two hour long, depending on the team, uh, rebuilds that you see on YouTube by, you know, like me potentially, or like Bengal, C4, Jerome, all them, um, you know, I do those as well. So if, if you want franchise content to look forward to, if you want to watch some franchise stuff on Madden 23, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I'm going to do my best to post as much Madden 23 franchise content that I can. But this is not going to be a rebuild like that. This is not just going to be like a, you know, three to five year, three to five season self-contained rebuild. It's going to be a much more longer term rebuild where I actually play all the games. I do my best to develop all the players as well as I possibly can. And the Bears definitely have a couple players who I'm very much looking forward to developing. So let's go ahead and start this franchise, which also means the return of my Madden alias. And that is certainly not John Madden. That is going to be your boy, Antho Shrambush. Good old Antho Shrambush. You know, Bengals got Gene Dangus. I got Antho Shrambush, all right? We're, we're vibing over here. And this is certainly going to be on all Madden. I will definitely go through all these settings more so in depth later on. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on them right now, but I definitely want tutorial pop-ups to be off, so. Uh, doesn't keep telling me how to play the game. I've been playing Madden for a while. I think I kind of know what I'm doing at least with some franchise stuff. But let's go over the roster and we're going to start here with the quarterback, Justin Fields. All right, so I want Justin Fields to do well, okay? I want to be able to develop him and somebody needs to turn the lights on in, the, in the, like the locker room here. Okay, they're slowly turning on. It's like somebody has like the dial in the corner is just like really slowly doing it. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. I really want Justin Fields to develop into like an elite quarterback for me in this franchise. It's just that in all likelihood, he probably won't. I suck at this game, okay? I'm gonna throw like 40 picks probably the first season. And that's gonna really not be good for his development long-term. He does have star though, speaking of development. So maybe that can go up throughout the season. Um, maybe we can just play well with him, <laughs> which won't happen. There's like a 7% chance, okay? That he actually goes up to superstar at the end of the season. The only way I'm gonna get him up to superstar is if we actually accomplish a breakout scenario. But you know, if, if you're looking for somebody who's gonna like do really well in, in a franchise, like, you know, go like watch Jerome or something, I guess, because Jerome's actually pretty good at this game. Me, on the other hand, I have the reading level of like a toddler when it comes to reading defenses, but Justin Fields, 92 throw power, 83 deep, 82 medium, 85 short accuracy. So very good throwing ratings right here. We can definitely get by with this. Hopefully he's not like horribly inaccurate actually in the game. 80 throw on the run, 82 play action, 81 under pressure, 81 break sack. Really not that bad. Like his throwing attributes, very solid. And then also he's very fast. 90 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 88 change of direction. I'm very bad at running with quarterbacks as well, but that's something I certainly want to get better at because I want to use Justin Fields as, you know, the entire athlete that he is. Not just somebody with a cool arm, you know? So hopefully we can at least use him, uh, you know, to his maximum capabilities. But he seems like a very fun player to try to develop, a very fun player to, you know, play with. Pause but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to completely do that. I will do my best, but absolutely no guarantees. What I'm trying to say basically is that like, I'm not putting it out of the realm of possibilities that I draft a quarterback down the line. David Montgomery then is the starting running back 84 overall. You know, he's very solid. I just don't know how well 
I'm going to be able to do with him as well because he has 88 speed, 91 excel. I normally gravitate towards faster running backs. Um, but you know, he's very good carrying. He's not gonna really fumble the football. Good agility, good break tackle, good juke, good change of direction. So we can probably get some use out of him. Um, I'm just normally better with running backs who are like way more explosive, but we'll kind of see what we can do with David Montgomery. Certainly not bad. One of the better players on the offense, actually the highest overall player on the entire offense. So hopefully I can, um, you know, play well with him too. And then we got Khalil Herbert. You know, Khalil Herbert was very good last year as a rookie. I want to get him kind of involved, but it's the same kind of deal with David Montgomery too. Um, you know, 89 speed, 88 excel, really not that fast, but we can try to use him as well as I possibly can. 93 carrying, pretty good running you know, abilities as well. Khalil Herbert was great as a rookie, like, you know, what I just said. And then we got the man Darrington Evans, or Darrington Evans, however you pronounce it, you know, part-time YouTuber, part-time NFL running back. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't know, this, this man has a YouTube channel where he plays Madden, does that kind of fun stuff, uses himself, I think. So I definitely go check him out if you want to. Um, but you know, he's more explosive. He has 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 91 agility. Maybe we try to get him involved as well. He definitely could carve out a role for himself if we need a more explosive runner down the line. But talking about explosiveness, we got Darnell Mooney. I'm very excited to see what Darnell Mooney brings to this team because 93 speed, 93 acceleration, very good hands, really good route running ability, 87 spec catch, 88 jumping. I'm trying to connect with this man on a deep level, not like a therapist or anything like that. I mean like a very far pass down the field. That was a stupid joke, but we're gonna roll with it. D Darnell Mooney, very fast receiver by far the best receiving option, like at least in terms of the receivers on this team. Because like, you know, Byron Pringle, he's only a 75, really nothing that special. Dante Pettis, same kind of thing there. We have Nikhil Harry, let's go. We can actually try to do something with him. I kind of forgot that they just traded for him, um, but he, he's still pretty young. Maybe we can get some, some Nikhil Harry hype in here. That'd be kind of cool. But you know, aside from Darnell Mooney, nobody who like I'm sure is going to be on the team this whole time. Darnell Mooney certainly will, everybody else Maybe they can do something to impress me. I don't really know. Now, I'm not going to lie. I just recorded this video, but then I accidentally deleted the Audacity file for my, you know, audio. And this is a different roster than what I just had before. I don't know if this one is more updated or if it is less updated. But that last roster didn't have Nikhil Harry in it. So I feel like this one's probably better. I don't know. Regardless, we're just going to keep going over the team. The offensive line for this team is not that good. It's not really good at all. The highest overall is Cody Whitehair by quite a big margin. Then it drops off to Riley Reef at a 74. I mean, Tevin Jenkins has some potential, but he's only a 72. That star dev is very nice though. Um, but yeah, offensive line, definitely a position we're gonna have to look to build up in the off season. And then Cole Komet, probably my second favorite pass catcher on this team. 75 overall, still very young, pretty big. He's 6'6", 262, 82 speed, 84 catching, 85 acceleration, good catch in traffic and spec catch, pretty good awareness. He's a good tight end. I I'm excited to try to get him to be like, you know, a very surefire first down or that kind of tight end. I want one of those guys on this team for sure. And then swapping over to the defensive side. All right, we have Roquan Smith. And if I'm not mistaken, this man requested a trade. And I don't know what we're gonna do if my man Roquan Smith gets traded because I don't wanna trade him. <laughs> if, if he requested a trade to me in this game, I would just tell him no. You're staying on the team, you can't leave, okay? You're very important to this franchise, 89 overall. Very good tackling at 96, good pursuit, good speed, good acceleration, good hit power, good zone coverage. I think that might be near the top of linebackers in terms of zone. 86 play rec, 86 awareness. He's a phenomenal player. One of the better linebackers in this entire game. I really don't want to trade him. If he does get traded in real life, we can kind of talk about what we're going to do. Um, but until then, I'm just going to be ignorant and pretend he just is on this team forever, okay? Uh, the other linebackers aren't really too great around him. So that's definitely a position we can look at, like hopefully in the draft. It's very fun drafting linebackers. And then moving up to the secondary, we have Eddie Jackson, 83 overall for him. He is 28 though, so he's definitely getting to the age of regression. So I don't know what I want to do with Eddie Jackson long term. He could be a player we like ship out at the trade deadline or something like that, just to kind of see what we can get for him. I don't exactly know. Eddie Jackson's pretty solid, but he probably won't be that solid for too much longer. The strong safety though, we have Draquan Brisker, a rookie out of Penn State. I really like Brisker. I think he's going to be really good for us. He doesn't have the best zone coverage, but he has pretty good hit power. 87, actually amazing for a rookie there. 89 speed, fast enough, I guess. 91 acceleration. He's a really solid player. 76 tackling as well. Just gonna get that zone up a little bit and he's gonna look like a franchise caliber safety, in my opinion. Hopefully we can also get his normal dev 
to vanish and go to something else. I really don't want normal dev forever on my man Brisker. It'd be nice if we could get him up throughout the season or something. Um, another player that I really wanted to try to develop, another reason why I wanted the Bears to be my franchise team, is number one cornerback here, Jalen Johnson. Honestly, I thought this man was like 25 because he's been in the league for two years already, but he came in very young. He's still super young. He's only 23. Star dev, 82 overall. Not the fastest. That's like a trend with this secondary. The secondary really isn't fast, um, but you know, they have some solid pieces, I guess. Like, you know, Jalen Johnson being one of them for sure. 87 zone, 88 press, um, 81 man. So he can cover very well. He's just not going to be able to keep up. I feel like all that well with like the faster, like the top end receivers in the NFL. So we might struggle in that regard, but he's somebody I certainly want on the team always. Like I want him starting for sure somewhere. I and mean, like Tavon Young, I mean, he's fine as a number two. I might get rid of him in a little bit though. Like maybe even this episode. Oh yeah, we're going to make a trade at least one at the end of this episode, because I like having more than one first round draft pick. Okay. Like I really like having two that's a good number to shoot for because I don't think it's super cheesy. Like, I'm not going to go out and get like seven. Uh, it's not super cheesy, but, you know, drafting is my favorite thing to do in franchise. And if I have two first round draft picks, it just, I feel like it just makes for a better franchise mode, makes for a better storyline and stuff like that in total. So Tavon Young might be leaving, but we do have a rookie, another rookie in the secondary, Kyler Gordon out of Washington. Another pretty slow player, but pretty good acceleration. I'll take it, I guess. 93 agility, 93 jumping, 72 man and zone. So we can kind of go either way in that regard. Um, I'm thinking more zone because that's typically what I end up calling more often than not. And then other than him, there's no one else down here really worth noting in the secondary. But then let's move down to the defensive line where we have a star dev left end. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know who Travis Gibson is, uh, but he is 25. And with that star dev, that signifies to me that it, he probably played pretty well last year or at least showed flashes or something um i'm sorry bears fans i'm sorry if you love this guy i'm not very knowledgeable about anything so that's that's just me 83 speed 87 acceleration that's solid i'll take it 78 finesse move 70 block shed not a bad defensive end definitely not a bad defensive end 25 is a bit old in this game but i'll take him for now and then robert quinn robert quinn is good like i i'm aware he's a good player but i'm probably gonna trade him because he's 32 normal dev 83 overall he's solid like for sure but i just don't anticipate him really making that much of an impact on this team just because of the state of the team like the team sucks like he, even if he does well it's not going to really mean all that much we're probably still going to lose every game so i think i'm probably going to try to trade him and then the defensive tackles we have justin jones mike pennell mario edwards no one super crazy on the defensive line like aside from robert quinn the defensive line sucks He's an 83, and then Gibson's a 75, the next best. So we definitely have to look at D-line. We have to look at like, almost every position, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, the first season, I'm mainly looking at receiver on the offense. I really want to draft like a stud receiver. That's always super fun to do. And then maybe like, you know, sprinkling some offensive linemen later in drafts. Maybe like an earlier middle linebacker. That could always be fun. Just somebody on the defense, like some difference maker on the defense I want to select early. Whether that be a linebacker, like an edge rusher, a corner, maybe a safety. It just depends on what the class looks like, obviously. But yeah, let's go ahead and make a trade. I think I'm just going to make one. Like I said before, I already recorded this section of the video, so I actually know what trade I'm going to make. I'm just going to do the same one I just did. And that trade is going to be Robert Quinn, Tavon Young, and Byron Pringle to the Buccaneers for their first round selection. So I haven't done much trading in this game yet. It was literally just this one. Um, but it seems like the trading is, you know, similar to what it was last year and the, the year before, where like, it's at least difficult for me now with these three players to get an early first round pick like even the top half of the league difficult to get like top 20 that's hard i think the bills even declined and they had picked 25 so pick 27 might be the best it's going to get but honestly i don't really care i just wanted to get one more first round draft pick just anywhere in the first round we can even use this to trade up again you know come draft day but just one more selection in the first round makes me a happy shram uh, but yeah, Robert Quinn, I'm sorry. Like, I like him. He's a good player. He played very well, but he's just not in the long-term future of this team. Um, at least he's going to a team that'll probably win a Super Bowl. So that's cool. Tavon Young, he's like 28 or whatever, only a 75. Doesn't have too much more room to grow. Same thing with Pringle down there. So I'm okay getting rid of all of those players. I think it was worth getting rid of Robert Quinn now before he regressed really badly or retired and I couldn't trade him 
anymore at all. So I'm fine with that. And then one more thing I would like to do, we're gonna go ahead and sign a free agent. It's going to be a free agent corner because like I said before, the speed of this cornerback core is awful. And what we're going to do is sign Troy Pride Jr. He is still very young, only 24. He's a 70 overall and has good speed. He has 92 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility with pretty decent coverage ability. So we need some speed in the secondary. Aside from him, I don't think we have another player in the secondary who has over 90 speed. So that was definitely necessary. And I'm not really sure if I'm gonna sign anyone else. We still could, there's still a couple of like receivers down here I wouldn't mind trying to sign you know, and make into something. Like for example, John Ross is here. He has 95 speed, we could sign him still. That'd be kind of fun. But I think I'll leave some of that stuff up to you guys. You can leave me some comments if you want me to sign anybody in particular. If you want me to trade for anybody in particular as well, I can go ahead and try to do that. But saying that, I don't wanna go out and trade for anyone who's like way too good. I kind of want to cut it off in like the 70s somewhere and also like no rookies i don't think it would be that enjoyable if i just like tried to get like garrett wilson or something like that like he would help out this team for sure but i think it'd be kind of boring if i just traded for like a hidden dev rookie right away so i kind of want to keep it like second third fourth year players who are still pretty young maybe some development trades on them like in the 70s i think that's solid um, because then we can try to develop those guys alongside the rest of the players on the bears i just don't want to get somebody who's already like a mid 80 to an upper 80 that's just not that fun to, to do in my opinion but that's going to do it for the first episode of my chicago bears franchise i really hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're looking forward to the series down the line if you are please consider hitting that subscribe button. I already said it before, but I'm gonna say it again, okay? Like if you wanna watch some Madden 23 franchise content, I'm gonna be trying to post as much as I can. So potentially hit that subscribe button, especially if you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy, please feel free to hit that like button down below. And also if you're just excited for this series in general. Thanks for watching one final time and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.